and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll hopefully teach you how to import different brushes and different texts, well different fonts into your into Photoshop. First of all for brushes I found a really nice website called getbrushes.com and when you're on the home page of this website you'll notice down the side it's got different style brushes. I'm going to go for abstract brush but um, grunge brushes are really nice as well and to be honest I think I've got all these already so I'll just download this one so just click the title of the one you want to download and it will pop up with this new page and you can have a look at the brush details and all the different brushes um, all different types of abstract brushes if they look nice go down to the bottom and click download brush and it'll pop up with the Devon Art website where the actual brushes are and click along the left hand side click download and it'll pop up with this, it'll be a compressed um, zipped folder so click save and I've already made a directory called brushes so remember what it's called, abstract 8 and save once it's downloaded um, close this and close that. You may as well leave the Get Brushes website up in case you want to download some more in a minute. Go into where you saved it. I saved it in My Documents, Brushes, and find it. Abstract date, there it is. And go on Extract Files. Well, this is if you're using WinRAR, but if you're not, I'm sure you'll figure it out. And extract the files. Um, to the folder that's in and cut now go into your my computer and you want to find where you saved photoshop originally I saved it in my second hard drive program files adobe photoshop and presets now I'll click brushes I notice there's loads of brushes here and paste and there's your brush and you can click off this now and off the brushes folder now go into photoshop and to get these brushes up that you just downloaded click the uh, brush tool and click this little arrow next to the image of the brush and click this little arrow here and a pop out list should come it might be down here but if you haven't used it before it won't be on this little shortcut bit so just click replace brushes and look for it, abstract 8, there it is and there's your brushes um, so you can mess around with these, there's a lot of different brushes but that's how I get all my brushes um, but I'm sure there's other websites af out there so don't just stick to the one I said now for your text um, I've got quite a lot of nice texts um, and I download them off a website called sketchpad.net and when you're on the home page it's got Photoshop tutorials um, and it's got quite a lot of cool stuff if you want to have a look but I always just click straight onto free fonts at the top And if you know what what font what your font's called, then you can just click the letter. Or if you're not really too sure, click any letter anyway, and you can just basically search for one you like. When you find one you like, I'm going to use this 
say I wanted to download this one out for Mac, I would, if I was using Mac, I'd click this button here. But I'm using Windows, so I'll click here. And again, it'll be a compressed zip folder, and save it. I'm just going to save it into brushes again. And once it's downloaded, close that. And open up your folder. And Alpha Mac. There it is. So extract here. And there it is. So cut. And now you've got to find your fonts page. So go onto my computer. Hard, your hard drive. I'm going to use my C drive. That's where I've saved mine. Windows. Fonts. And just paste it in there. And it'll install the font. And when you go on Photoshop and change the tech text, I think it's called Mac um, Alpha Mac. So it'll be under A. And there's Alpha Mac. Let's have a look what it looks like. And there's Alpha Mac. Okay, I hope I've taught you a little bit about how to uh, import brushes and text. If you've still got any questions or um, maybe I've said something wrong and you want to know how to do it, then just drop me a comment and I'll get back to you straight away. Um, uh, thanks for watching this tutorial and I'm sure there's going to be more to come. See you later.